must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Welcome back to my Breath of the Wild playthrough. This is going to be a special one hour special long episode because it is our 10th episode of the playthrough. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So in our last episode we got the climber's bandana as you can see on my head it's given me some beautiful fashion. I also swapped out the uh, warm doublet for my Nintendo Switch shirt because we're no longer in the cold climate and uh, I wanted something a little more comfortable on. And uh, yeah, we just finished this shrine. So now we're gonna continue on down the path towards Kakariko Village. Actually, we can bomb this. Woo! Anything? Oh, chest right away. Traveler's bow. Actually, pretty bad bow by my standards, but we'll take it nonetheless. And uh, while we're here, actually, let me go ahead and summon in Wolf Link. Where is he? There he is. Hopefully he doesn't uh, go suicidal crazy and uh, charge some guardians this time. Wolf Link will guide you to locations that trigger your Sheikah sensor. Wow, alright, so he's more useful than I even uh, originally thought. Alright, there's actually uh, some dudes up there. Let's see if we can go up this cliff and snipe them. Hopefully Wolf Link doesn't give away my position either. Wow, that's actually a lot of them. Think we can take all those guys? Wolf Link. Wolf Link seems to think so. I think he's uh, he's charging. Oh my. Wolf Link, you're crazy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, bring him over there. Bring him closer. All right, this is uh, this is going to be an interesting fight. Gonna try to take out the weak ones first, just to lower their numbers a little bit. Get in the water. Flame attack! Oh my goodness. He literally sideswiped me. I thought the flame attack would have been the perfect play. <laughs> Starting this video out with a death. I wasn't ready to engage the camp, but Wolf Link made that decision for us. And honestly, he didn't even help me that much. Is he gone now? <sighs> Alright, let's summon him back, even though he seems to get me killed more than uh, more than he helps me, you know, whatever. At least he's still got full health. We're gonna send that flying, see what happens. Pretty much nothing. They all respawned? Okay, well, time for round two. Wolf Link, please don't engage yet. I just wanna... I wanna get these... Oh my... He engaged. You know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. That actually worked pretty well. Ow! Oh my goodness. We're actually dying again. 
But I have some decent food with me this time. Get up, Link, get up. Uh, I don't need a bomb arrow gun. Oh man. Put down the bow. Where's Wolf Link? He died, didn't he? Oh, there's actually a chest there? I didn't even notice. I guess Wolf Link uh, didn't, didn't make it through to the end. Rest in peace. Ooh, a throwing spear. That's actually not a bad... It's a little bit less damage, but you can, like, literally throw this super far. Alright, since we're here, guys, I'm gonna cook some stuff. It's time for cooking with Lucian! Actually, let me pick up these uh, items real quick. And let's get that chest real quick. A boomerang? Actually, that's even cooler than the throwing spear, but just to demonstrate... Look at that. It basically shoots like an arrow. The boomerang, however, that is one of the coolest weapons because it comes back and you can catch it. Alright, it's like overcast and I don't like that, so I'm gonna wait by the fire until, uh... Let's wait until morning. I like morning. Hopefully, if it's raining, then I'm gonna wait again. Alright. Alright. So yeah, so we got some sunshine. Time for cooking with Lucian! Alright, let's see. I don't actually have a lot of hearts, so... I don't really need to cook that many ingredients at a time. This will increase my max hearts and full recovery, which is very nice. Stamina boosting is always really nice. For when you just need a little bit of upping defense. Let's do two of those. These little three heart uh, heals are actually perfect. Let's do another one of those. Grant some low level defense boost. I'm all for that. Let's let's cook some meat and a Staminoka bass. Oh, look at that full stamina. Let's cook an apple and some stealth trout. All right. And uh, let's do let's do three of those and a mushroom. This will give us a nice, strong, uh, sneaky boost. Oh, never mind. I level a level one s sneak boost. And uh, let's do two armored uh, fish and uh, an acorn. All right. Um, let's see. We could do some monster parts. Let's do a couple of horns and uh, a couple lizards. That should give us a speed boost elixir. Five minutes, not bad. And uh, let's do a hot-footed frog, a, a, a lizard, and a bow coblin fang and guts. That'll give us a strong one, right? There we go, level two for eight minutes. That's that's a nice one. All right, let's do uh, let's do three fireflies and two. Moblin fangs. Oh, look at their glowing and everything. Ooh, a 14 minute stealth. Alright. And let's do a couple of those. One of these. Alright. I think we're good after this. Considering we didn't have, like, any, any food, now we got, you know, we got some options now, so that's all I wanted. Alright. Let's go, uh, can I summon Wolf Link or he's, he's dead for the day? 
Yeah. Wolflink is down for the day. Unfortunately, uh, he immediately thought it wise to engage a camp of six or seven Bokoblins by himself. So, he's a little bit crazy, but that's why we love him. Alright, I know there's a shrine right over here, and we're gonna get it. Alright, can I fly there? Absolutely. And then we got that stable. The Ha Dahamar Shrine. Gonna start this episode off with a with a death, but we're also gonna start it out with a shrine. Oh man. Master mode is a true challenge. Definitely. And uh, every time I see one of those little guardians in here, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, man. After dying like seven times in the trial of power, I'm kind of scared of those things. The water guides. Okay, actually, I remember this one very clearly, so this one, this one shouldn't be too hard. Holy cow, that was actually almost death right there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's right. If I remember correctly, we got a chest right here. What do we got? Purple rupee. Not bad. Alright, now this is the uh, quote unquote hard part of the shrine. I don't think it's actually that difficult if you know what to do. So basically, we want to. We want to put one like right here. And then we want another one, like, I think, like, right there. Actually, no. Yes. We'll figure it out. I think if we do that, maybe we need to put one, like, we need to put one, like, right here. And then one, like, maybe, like, right there. Oh, easy, boys. Easy. Camera didn't even have to move to show me that door opening. Easiest shrine of my life. I love that. Every single time never gets old. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Let's watch the cutscene because it's kind of cool when it shoots in out of his body and came out of his stomach. Goes right into my chest. Thank you, kind sir. May the goddess smile upon you. Somebody said if I wait for the text uh, to appear a little bit, it actually loads faster. I guess I didn't wait long enough because it's still loading kind of slow, but oh well. Trying to force a rowdy, untamed horse to speed up will likely result in you being tossed to the ground. Well, good thing we have Epona, so we don't have to worry about that. All right. Finished the uh, shrine. The spikes went away, I guess. Nice. It's a beautiful day. Looks like there is a chest over there, so that might be worth checking out, actually. Oh, it's Beetle. Let's buy some arrows and stuff. Dueling Peak Stable. Yeah, yeah. You appear to have a bladed rhino beetle. Beetle, beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Would you consider giving it to me? Of course, dude. For the meat and rice bowl? Heck yeah. Oh, dang. That was worth. <laughs> he is so excited. Anyway, back to business. Uh, let's uh, let's actually buy some arrows from Beetle. He's got 20 right there. Wow! Wow, you are rich! And we're gonna also buy this. Uh, so we got 30 arrows right there, boom. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and see if we can sell oh. some, uh, some stuff. Uh, let's see, let's sell, and eh, we don't have a lot of stuff to sell, but 
Uh, I guess we could sell some ambers. How about, uh, let's sell 10 ambers. And uh, how about some of these? Book Goblin Fangs. Let's just sell 22. Yay! Alright. Maybe, maybe like 15 of these. And then after this, wow! I think I'm good. Thank you, Beetle. Take it easy, man. Let's check out the. Uh, sa oh! Sorry about that, dude. Dang, he, he's jumpy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can give you directions. I'm I'm not really interested in your directions, sir. But thank you. Uh, hmm. I bet it's over there. Oh. I've got the scoop on Misko's treasure, and it's great. Listen up, Dak. Ah. Oh. Person, hang on. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? We're treasure hunters on the trail of our latest score. The treasure of the great bandit, Misko. It's as good as ours. Uh? Prison, you're giving, going to give it all away. Uh. Sorry, Dak, I got carried away. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. Okay. Uh. Is there, like, uh, anything? Hi. Welcome. Will you be staying with us? Um, sure, let's get the soft bed. Sleep until, uh, noon. Whoa. Our first night in the stables. That gave us one extra heart, and it's raining. Uh, of course it is. But it looks like it's gonna be sunny, hey. uh, pretty quick. Oh, they... Maybe if I, like, sneak, they won't, they won't, uh, hear me talking to them. Uh, you again? Pay no mind to my little brother's chatter before. He's got a picture for running his crowd. So, Misko's treasure. Ah, shoot, Welp. Can't say I didn't try to throw him off. Ah. Hey, Dak, why don't we just tell him? Maybe he'll leave us alone if we do. I mean, if we can't figure this riddle out, there's no way someone like him will be able to. Uh. Ah, that's a good point. We're after nothing less than the great treasure of Misko, the great bandit. Finding it would mean incredible riches. I'm not about to give this information away for free. Oh. I'm no fool. That's the keen sense of the strongest treasure hunter at work. No gold left behind. Not by dominant Dak. You're great, Dak. Alright. Oh. It'll be 100 rupees. Truth is, it'd be a steal to get this exclusive scoop for 1,000 rupees. Alright, fine. 100. Whatever. Good deal. Ah. Way to go, Dak. You did it. The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above that river source. Misko hit the treasure of hit location of the treasure in the some kind of strange secret code. I heard this from a former dog walker of one of Misko's underlings, descendants, neighbors. As solid a lead as any. Wow. Just knowing someone with good intel like that, exactly what I'd expect from you, Dak. Wow. Alright, so somebody's brothers, cousins, nephews, ex-girlfriend's boss knows something about someone who knows something. Gotcha. Um, Alright, so let's see. I don't I don't really think there's much here. Uh, there is a doggy, so let's see if this doggo will lead us to some treasure. I'm gonna give him a nice juicy steak. Oh yeah, who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? You're not gonna lead me into death like the wolf link. Is that enough? Ah, you want more. There you go, boy. That's a big one. That's a big one, boy. Alright, bring me to the treasure. Bring me to the treasure. No? Alright, you want some more? Uh, how about a bass? You want a bass? Oh, oh, he's happy now. He's happy. Wait. Wait. Want a bass, boy? Want a bass? You don't like the bass? Um, uh oh, I'm running out of food for you, boy. How about, uh, uh oh. I think that's about all I got for dog food, boy. You just ate, you ate both of my steaks. You don't want anything else? You sure you don't want the bass? You want, you want the apple? 
Oh, actually, he'll eat the apple. I didn't know dogs would eat the apples. There's a good boy. Here, take as many as you want, boy. As many as you want. Just lead me to that treasure, you know what I mean? Alright. While you're doing that, uh... Oh, wait. He's ready. He's ready. He's leading me to the treasure, guys. What's that? Ooh, an axe? Over here, boy? Oh, who's a good boy? What I get? Hey! Got my money back. Alright. So, let's look at the map here. Where do we? Where are we supposed to be going? Uh, let's look at our adventure log. Seek out Impa. Oh, she is, uh, she's straight north of here. Alright. Where's my horse? Where is my horse? All right, let's uh, let's get let's get Epona out. Yep, yep. Uh, let's let's take Epona. I need to I need to get the thing the uh, horse armor, so that way we can call Epona, uh, no matter where she is. She'll just like teleport. I need to get that. I wouldn't mind getting that, like, right away, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Do I have the quest for it? Uh... Is it the Ancient Horse Rumors? Apparently, Highland Stable has a copy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do some research on this, because I don't remember which... I think it's that one, but I don't know where the Highland Stables are. Alright, let's go north, Epona! Let's go seek out Impa, let's just follow this road for now. Just ride my horse through the rain. No big deal. Alright, what's that? We didn't get very far. Whoa! Pona almost got taken out. Oh, there's some uh, wild horses over there. Oh, a nice little opal. Wow, oh, there's a lot of wild horses. Wow! Look at all the uh, decayed guardians, guys. Do you think any of them are alive? Look at this place. Oh, there's a bomb stash right there, too. There's Epona. This place is kind of creepy. It's like a... It's like a battlefield, you know what I mean? It's kind of a somber. Somber place. Oh, nice. It's only eight to uh, block, though, but I think I have a pot lid, so... <laughs> Definitely an upgrade. Yep. yep. Ah, always good to explore. I'm, I'm always looking for Korok seeds, too. But ancient parts are very useful later. We're going to need as many ancient parts as we can absolutely find. Oh, there's some froggies. Let's get those. Ah, increase max stamina. Oh, these these are the best kind of frogs possible, guys. Come back. Come back. Okay, that one got away, but we got like four stamina frogs. That is great. Just a bunch of dead uh, dead guardians. I guess that's about all there is here. All right, Epona, come back. I think I'm done. Done looting. bird. Alright, girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, let's get out of here. Can I go around this mountain over here? Yeah. Gonna cross the bridge. Kakariko Bridge, I believe. Yep. <laughs> Hold on one second, Epona. It's come to my attention that uh, we have something to see here. Oh, look at that bow. 
Oh! Oh my. We instantly upgraded our worst bow by far. And we instantly upgraded our boomerang. What? That is crazy. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. There's actually stuff down there. Um, it's not really easy to get back up here. It looks like, but we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to figure it out. I really don't like those guys. So, all right, let's see. What is this thing doing right here? Let's just drop it right here. Oh, all right. What do we got? So many chests! Got an opal. What is this box here for, though? Oh man, it's just out of reach. Alright, whatever. Now, let's see if we can climb back up and continue our journey. Got our climber's bandana, so that helps. I think I'm just going to go straight for 13 hearts before I get any stamina because I really want the master sword, you know? We'll see. Picking up the loot. Don't mind me. So much loot. It's gonna take me 20 minutes just to get to Kakariko, even though it's so close, just because I keep stopping to pick up all these stupid herbs. Alright, I'm gonna leave that herb. Hey, we found Hestu! Shalaka! Shalaka? You, you, you can see me? <laughs> Shalaza, Shalaza! It's been 100 years since anyone has been able to see me. Coincidence? I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. Alright, dude. <laughs> Let's do things a little different, huh? Let's go up here. Scout the area. Alright, looks like we got three, three dudes. Didn't, didn't even, uh, didn't even touch him. I couldn't blow it up when I was climbing. Such a waste. There goes one. There goes two. This is how you kill things without using any weapon durability at all. And there goes three. <laughs> I was wondering if it was gonna activate. Took that while dude to, to die, man. He fell a long ways. Whoa, look at that. There's so many floating platforms of Master Mode, I love it. Alright, let's get these maracas. That was, uh, that was pretty easy, not gonna lie. Yo! He's been shaking them since he was two years old! Alright, Epona. Let's go, girl. 
All right, you're, you're good. You're just staring at the wall again. Whoa, girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. This way. All right. This is actually awesome because we're going to be able to upgrade our weapon stash. Shallah Kala. Those are, those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Shalaka. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance? Shoko. If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Oh, I have. Do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. I... Shalaka! Should we do weapon, bow, or shield? I'm gonna go weapon. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let's do, uh... I almost, like, never run out. Let's do shield. Because I actually do go through shields kind of fast. Like, if you're fighting a hard enemy that can break your shields really fast, you don't want to go through your shields really quick. It can actually be, uh, more important to have more shields than more, more uh, regular weapons. As seeing as I already have, like, ten weapons, you know, I only had four shield slots, so now I got five. Uh, he's got to get going. All right, dude. All right, he won't do any more until I actually go find him towards the uh, the forest. Wait, did you guys? Oh, okay. I thought he disappeared. Hello, strange traveler. I do have experience handling bombs. Mm. Why would I bomb the ore when I can just hit him with my uh, hammer? Must be an inexperienced traveler. Speaking of ore. Do I still have a hammer? No, I don't. Alright. Um, actually, we're going to use the claymore then. This should do it, right? Yeah, good enough. Still better than bombing because the bomb half the time it sends the uh, the the gems like flying. All right, guys, to Kakariko. Oh, sorry about that. I know there's another Korok seed. Yeah, here it is. Huh. Ow, oh, 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 hi, okay. You dead. Might as well kill him and take the loot, you know? Some of those things sell for eight, eight rupees a pop. All right, let's go. Easy money. Okay, there was an ore. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure I can get some uh, some more good weapons if I need to with the amiibos that I have. So I I could I could really abuse the amiibos if I wanted to be honest. Easy. Kakariko Village. Or as I used to always say it when I was a kid, Kakariko Village. Mm. 
Okay, game just lagged a little bit. My sh my shrine thing is just going berserk. I think it's up here. <laughs> Let's just go do the shrine really quick. That way we can warp. Then we'll go talk to uh, Impa. <laughs> alright, alright. You're going as fast as you want to go. I understand now. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'll leave you right there, Epona. We made it, boys. We finally made it to a village. Which means we can go buy some better armor and weapons pretty soon. I think this is like a minor test of strength, but... I might be wrong. I think this is the one that's supposed to teach you like how to backflip and parry and all that. Basically, should be an easy shrine. And we should get a guardian weapon out of it and a chest, so we'll see. Probably some good stuff. Oh yeah, I called it. Uh, I guess uh, I guess we can use the uh, the soldier's broadsword here, and we'll use this shield. Oh, there's a chest, uh, two chests right behind me. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you could use to strike back. I, I, I do want a side hop, believe me, but I want this more. Oh. All right, got another shield. Just upgraded our shield slot. Hey, bud, just hold on. You're not looking too good. You, you look like you lost a couple of your arms. All right. All right, now I'm ready. All right, side hop. Let's go. Oh, my bad. Try again, try again, try again. Oops. Wrong button, wrong button. Try again. What's next? Backflip? Yep, do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks. Create an opening to strike back. Gotcha, gotcha. You think I would have made it this far without knowing this stuff? Come on, man. No need to do all the damage. You can repel attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. It'll die right away as soon as we're done with the uh, with the tutorial. Try me. And do a spin attack. Build up your power, then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Yep. GG. Let's pick up his guardian sword. I'm just gonna chuck this one. You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now, proceed. Will do, will do. Open that gate for me, thank you. You're so kind. Pick up that beautiful guardian sword. Though it's not a guardian sword plus, but I'll still take it. And this is probably a uh, opal. Called it. Man, I'm getting good at this. Man, we're making good progress on these shrines, actually. I think I got five or six uh, spirit orbs in the bank. We're going to need a lot more to get 13 hearts, but you know. All right, we subverted a prophecy of ruin. Very nice. May the goddess smile upon you. So I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure that Breath of the Wild... As far as, like, the overall Zelda chronological order of Zelda games, Breath of the Wild is the furthest into the future of any Zelda game. It's, uh, it's way in the future of all the other Zelda games. Alright, we did the shrine. Now we can warp to Kakariko Village. That's why I wanted to do, do the shrine. Um, I know there's a bunch of quests that we can do here. There's also some shops... So, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here at the armor shop first. I love that there's no loading. Oh, man! I want both. I want the Hylian set and I want the Sheikah set. Oh, man. 
Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. We exclusively stock the special garments of the Clary collection. In fact, that stealth chest over there is highly recommended. Oh, and we also buy anything you don't need, so just talk to me when you're ready. Ugh, all right, let's see how much this one costs. Limited edition, enchanted, exclusive. Yes, I know. It makes our footsteps very silent. It has low defense. All right, I don't care. I have, I have like no defense as it is. We're gonna buy the full set. And there goes all of our money. All right, how much does this set cost? Oh, that's that's affordable. That's affordable, guys. That's very affordable. I'm gonna buy this too. Just for the fashion, you know what I mean? I love this outfit. No, 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 no. I don't want to talk to you. Man, must must feel uh, good to walk into a shop and literally buy everything that they have. All right, well, uh, let's see how we look. Oh yeah. Actually, I already had the highly in trouser trousers. I didn't even need to buy these. Feels bad. Now I got two of them. Kind of a waste. But dang, I'm looking so good, right? Oh, look at that. Another cool thing about this game is you can actually dye the armor to be different colors. All right, let's try the stealth outfit. Level three stealth, guys. But only six armor in total. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, super stylish. All right, see ya. Look at this, I am silent. You can't hear anything. Makes it super useful for uh, running and collecting bugs and whatnot. Um, all right, hey, we could pray. Let's do it. Get another heart container, guys. One heart container, please. One closer to 13 and getting that Master Sword. That's our fifth heart container. Only eight more. That's actually going to help me a lot. Just because I won't die as much. Half the stuff in this game kills me in one hit. Um, yeah, I know Impa's right over there, but... Alright, there's the inn. I know there's some side quests in the inn, I think, with the... What's her name? Or somebody wants to date. Somebody... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Hold on. Alright, here... Let's go in the potion shop. What is what is this? Or general goods? Oh, arrows. Yes. Can I buy... Uh, yeah. Do I have enough to buy them all? Oh. I do. I might have to sell. Hold hey. on. Let's, uh, let's sell some Bow Goblin Guts. These are worth a lot. Let's just sell 20 of them. I'm never going to use them, really. Ah. Alright. Now I should have enough to buy the rest of her arrows. Ah. I'm going to buy all the arrows, like, every chance I get, just so I never have to worry ah. about arrows, basically. Sometimes you really need them. I'm going to leave her. Alright, the food... The food shop, I don't think I really need anything, unless she has stamina stuff. Let's see. Ah, uh, the goat butter. Ah. I actually, I actually will buy, I will buy some goat butter. I think you need it for special recipes later on, you know what I mean? What's that? Bird eggs? I got those. Eh, swift carrot, book up guts. I'll buy some swift oh. carrots, I guess. Just have some on stock, you know, why not? Alright. Thank you, lady. We're just supporting the economy here, you know, guys? Um, I think there might be a chest. Somewhere there's some oh some fish fishies triple <laughs> offers no special effects. Are you kidding me? I killed that fish for no reason. I will still cook him, no worries. All right, uh, we could cook some more, but I'm gonna pass on that for now. 
Alright. Let's uh, throw this over here real quick. Man, we're gonna we're gonna be able to expand quite a few times. Hey guys, uh, I'm VIP. You there? Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah slate? But that would mean you are no. It's impossible. Can it be? Yes, I am Lucian Sword. Yes, I'm that oh. YouTuber. No. Oh. <laughs> Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, uh, friend, go ahead, step aside. Wow, so anybody with a Sheikah Slate can get through security, I guess. They don't have to do any kind of background check or nothing. A man? Oh, Paya. Huh? Is that... It's... A Sheikah Slate? Could you be the hero my grandfather told me about? What was his name? L Link... Um... Oh, it's nothing I forgot. I'm just... I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is pa pa, pa Oh, my name is Paya. That's a thumbnail. Phew, I got it out. This is this is love in the making, guys. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm, I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting for your return ever since I was little. P please. Hurry inside. Paya, you are so cute. Alright, let's go talk to Impa. <laughs> Look at my uh, outfit, too. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but... You remember me, don't you? Hmm, turtle face? Yeah, kind of ringing a bell. I wish they would show what she looked like when she was younger. Huh. How did she uh, know, know it was me when I got the uh, face mask? I guess the Chica Slate. What's the matter? You're looking at me as though I'm a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name, Impa. Oh. I see. So you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Yo, that hat. Can I buy it from you? Oh. A hundred years ago. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I've been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message. <gasps> However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess message, return to me. Yeah, I'm ready. The words that the princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Look, I've already died like 14 times. Let's just do it. <laughs> Not a memory to your name, yet you are intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed one bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Dang. Thank you, Impa. Oh. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. I, I mean, uh, actually, a ghost of uh, this one guy, uh, the king of Hyrule, he told me already. Okay. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess.
With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. 10,000 years. All right. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. So their plan actually worked. But when we try to do it 10,000 years later, Ganon is the wiser. You can't use the same plan twice. That's where they uh, underestimated their opponent. Ganon just like, ha, you gotta try using those on me again? Nice try, dudes. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. That's why it's not always best to do what your ancestors did. Sometimes you gotta come up with your own new ideas, just like they did. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power in order to... To avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Oh, finally, you get to the words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. I mean, I kind of already knew that. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Varudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Va Meadow. Controlled by Ravali of the Rito. The divine beast, Varuta. Controlled by Mifa of the Zora. And the divine beast, Va Naboris. Controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. Oh. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beast to help you. You must infiltrate the divine beasts that were stolen away and bring them back to our side. All right. There they are, the four divine beasts. Now, we could do the divine beasts in any order that we please. The game kind of pushes you towards doing the uh, Mipha's divine beast, the, the Zora one, first. That's the closest one to us. But we don't have to. We could do a different order. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below which order you think we should do the divine beasts. It seems to be that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. Ah, uh, yes. Guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Yeah, we need to go to Hateno Village. 
so we can uh, upgrade our Sheikah Slate. And uh, wow, we are already almost at an hour. We got a few more minutes though. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart. Seize your destiny. Seek out Impa. Complete. Dope. What's that? All right. Hey, Paya, how's it going? My girlfriend. M my master Link. Wh whatever is the matter at this hour, dark magic preys upon the land when darkness falls. Please, promise to take care. Oh, I will. I will. I know you're a little taller than me, but that's all right. I like tall girls. All right, you go upstairs. I will go save the world. For you, Paya. I will do it. <laughs> Zelda doesn't have to know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man. Um, I believe there should be a quest for me to shoot those torches out. I wonder why I, they're already lit. Maybe we have to leave and come back. All right. So we need to go to Hateno Village, which is uh, down to the east. So we need to go back south again. We need to leave the village again. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on our way to Hateno. Man, I'm just happy we got the stealth armor, we got the Hylian armor, we can upgrade all those later and whatnot. Hey, you are, opponent. I wasn't actually sure. Come on, come on. Come, come on, come on. What, you don't even want to move anymore? Sheesh. Picky horse, man. Very picky horse. Be a good girl. Be a good girl. Hold up. Is this where the... I could have sworn there was something. What is that? A oh, traveler sword? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, you know what? Um... Yeah, go back in the water. Somebody... Come on, come on. Somebody might have left that sword there on purpose to, like, try to find it later. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I don't know why she wants to walk so dang slow in the village, you know? As soon as we get out of this gate, we can, uh, we can hit full speed. Alright. Now, now we can go faster. There we go. Oh, man, the speed! Oh, no! Come! Come, come on. It's not a big deal, opponent. You have to learn these things. You have to go over the rocks. Just jump over them. She actually does a good job of, like, following the path. Like, right now I'm not touching the thumbstick and watch. She kind of follows the path a little bit, see? I, I didn't even turn her right there. She turned herself. We got to go all the way back down across the bridge. And uh, pretty much... That'll lead us straight to Hateno. We just gotta take a left at some point. She didn't even want to go fast on this bridge. Turn, turn! Oh, man. She's a little bit slow on the turn, but... Yeah, I still love her. Alright, now we, now we swing the left to go to Hateno. Um, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There should also be another, yeah, another tower, guys. We're, we're probably going to go for that tower up there. In fact, since I'm here, let's see if I can mark this. Oh, it's right there. Yep, definitely going to try to get that tower. Probably at the start of next episode, guys. Did you guys enjoy the one-hour special? Oh, there's a nice little camp over there. All right, guys, you know what? To finish out the one-hour special, let's clean up this camp. Right, right, we could do it. Shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be too, too difficult. Don't stop, don't stop. Not now. Hmm. 
You really want to fight me, dude? These guys are weak now. They're like the red guys from before. Now that I got the sneak armor, I bet you they won't... Oh. They saw me instantly. Of course. Oh, I found a fairy. That is super useful. Oh, I almost parried him, man. I tried. That actually really hurt. Um... Oh, we got it. Yeah, I took it. What you gonna do? I took it. How do you feel that your friends didn't even come to help you, man? Feels bad. Oh, another fairy. Oh, we got two fairies, guys. That will help us so much. Wow, you guys didn't even want to help your master? How rude. Oh, sorry, opponent. You, you kind of got in the way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Put the weapon down, sir. Down. All right. That's how we finish out an episode. Let's get that. Man, those fairies will come in super handy. All you gotta do is cut some grass, man. Don't be afraid to cut some grass. Could do it fast like that. Okay. Did it twice. Oh, there we go. See? Three fairies. So when I die, the fairies should uh, heal me and keep me alive. That's why they're so good. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one hour special. It was definitely uh, went by a lot faster than I thought it would. Uh, every 10th episode, I'll do another one hour special. And this doesn't take any durability away from my sword either. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cut some more grass here and get all this free loot. Hope to see you guys in the next episode, guys. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.